Hello everybody, my name is Dominique Barry, and welcome back to Why Is That Gaming. Today we're going to be playing a game called Always Sometimes Monsters. Now, let's just get into it, because I'm excited. I am excited to see what's going to happen. What do I have to do? Man, that was a rough night. These weirdos from the east side of town got a little too personal last night. Tried roughing me up. Good thing I showed them my patent material art style, Billy Jitsu. <laughs> Still, I could really go for some coffee right now. Hmm. There's that kid. I'm gonna go see the girl, Haley. Haley. Bye bye. Excuse me. Oh, I was supposed to go get a job. Oh well. Hazy. There's some strange music coming from inside the room. I wonder if I should check it out. Oh god! this off really hey sorry about that awkward huh yeah little bit I knew I, I knew I gave my spare key to somebody completely blanked out from that whole night those pills were amazing by the way I still got a few if you're around tonight I'd ask for my key back now but there's no way of knowing for sure whether you've made a ton of copies you gave out our spare key damn it Haley well, I guess you're living with us now. No sense of ha even having doors. You know, I thought this whole open concept thing was going to be fun, but it's really not. I like that we've got random girls coming over in the middle of the night, but warning would be nice. Did you or- No, thank God! You were behind her! Okay. Don't worry about that. This is Dominique. Don't use my name now. I'm- I- I REGRET USING MY NAME! She's the one who scored me that stuff. I invited her over to meet us, but I forgot. I'm sorry, Bradley's still not used to this. We are a very open couple, but he's adjusting. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with giving a key to someone you're expecting to be intimate with. And by intimate, you mean... Well, I was hoping you'd be interested in helping... I'm sorry for the way this started out. I didn't expect this. I honestly didn't. I thought I'd get turned down again. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, let me explain. Brad and I don't really believe in- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, it just means finding some dude. <laughs> Every once in a while, though, there's a cute number like you and her, though. Makes it all worthwhile. At least you got your polka dotted underwear back on. You don't mind, Brad, do you? I'm sorry I didn't mention him earlier. Why not? Why not commit to this? <laughs> But we'll be out tonight, so the place is yours. We've got to run out to the store for some more. You need us to get you any? I'm good, thanks. Make yourself at home. You can sleep on the couch if you'd like. I'm, I'd avoid the bed. It's a little messy. Thank you. Now I've got a place to stay! Oh god, is that a camera? I don't want to know. You guys can have fun. Do whatever the hell you want. I've got to go get a job. Well, where did I have to go get a job? I completely blanked out. The newspaper shop? I'm gonna go to the newspaper shop. Uh, we've got an hour left. 
<laughs> Welcome to the Daily News Times. Oh, shit. I can only help you if you have an appointment. I'm here to speak with Patrick. I was told he'd be expecting me. Oh, you must be Dominique. Could please, go ahead. Just look for the big glass doors. These ones? Hello, Patrick. Patrick? Yes, Mr. Bubbles. You're a hungry Mr. Bubbles, aren't you? Are yeah, you talking to the fish? Sorry, I was in my own little world. Fair enough. I'm fine feeding my fish. Very relaxing. Yes. That's nice, I suppose. I'm here about a freelancing job. A guy named Larry should have called about me. Ah, yes, I was expecting you. Dominique, is it? We need someone to do a story on the press conference happening down at the movie theater. The Sunny Entertainment Company is announcing something big today. Rumor has it they're opening a new theater in town and we need to be on top of it. We need total coverage. Alright, what do I have to do? Go down and attend the conference. Get all the details from the announcement and find out what's going on. Does this, is this going to require writing something down? Because I got my pencil. And I got a piece of paper. Lots of pieces of paper. So, I'm prepared this time. I wasn't prepared for the first thing. Granted, I am prepared for a game, though. Okay, you'll have to go down, attend the conference, get all the details in fr from the announcement, and find out what's going on. There should be a chap named Aaron there. He's the public relations director for the company. He'll probably give you a long sh spiel about the development. I've been in this business long enough to know a huckster when I see one, so don't just take his word for everything. You're a reporter, damn it. Get all the facts of the story, return here, and get it filed at any one of the terminals in the main office. We'll run it in tomorrow's edition. I'll pay you out first thing tomorrow morning after it prints. The gig pays $10 per word, so you'll get $100 for the piece. So what do you say, kid? You want the job? I'm on the job. Sounds great. I'm on the job. That's only because I don't know where the other one was. Fantastic! The event's just down the road at the current Sunny Megaplex. Get down there ASAP before the conference starts. I'm assuming you have some sort of cell phone I can contact you in case you have a news emergency, right? Actually, no. I do have this handy dandy beeper though I picked up for cheap online. Just beep me if you need me. Beep you? Seriously? What year do you think this is, kid? A goddamned beeper? Do you want an old timey news hat that says press on it too? A hat would be great, actually. I'm kidding! Just give me your damn beeper number and get the press conference before I change my mind, you crazy lutitude. So I don't get an old-timey hat then? No! Now get going, kid. We have deadlines to meet. I'm such a nerd. Good. Okay, so we gotta go to the Sunny Entertainment something. I'm bad at this. <laughs> no time to talk to anyone. We gotta keep going. Move it. The thing is, I didn't see a theater. I did, and I think it's up here. Or is it down here? But I got kicked away from it by a guy. Oh, he's not here anymore. Okay, cool. So that's how we secured our position as the number one source for quality entertainment nationwide. Oh, looks like they started without me. Which brings me to our big announcement. In just a few days, we'll begin construction on a brand new, state-of-the-art, multi-screen megaplex right here in the heart of Dubstown. This venue will be the largest in the entire country and will be support the latest in high-quality film projection, projection technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, this beloved but aging theater is about to get a real facelift as we jettison into the future of film. Plans currently include a massive 20 screen setup, which means you'll be able to deliver more of the movies you love closer to home. There's no doubt that this new development, Sunny Entertainment, will continue to be your first choice in quality family entertainment. Now, I'm sure you have plenty of questions about this exciting announcement. Alright, not everybody at once. You, with the poofy hair. Yeah, hi there. Brian Crescent with a polyhedron online. Can you comment on the trend of your theaters increasing the price of popcorn every year? Excellent question, Brian. While our company has always strived to deliver the most cost-efficient theater experience for our millions of loyal customers, prices do change. Over the years, a few of our concession items have a slight price increases, but only as a means of counteracting inflation. 
We take immense pride in offering our customers a value and experience that continues to surpass that all of our competitors. Alright, who's next? You over there with the sunglasses. Right, hello chap. James Starling with the Escape Him Quarterly. Several of our competitors have begun offering their movies in full 3D. Does Sunny have any plans to follow suit? Great questions, James! I'm happy to announce that this new Megaplex will be the first of our venues to offer this exciting new option for moviegoers. We've already slated our first 3D film, The Horror Extravaganza Slash a Man 4, for our opening weekend. You do not make a horror movie 3D! That's how you kill people! I'm spitting all over the place. You can pre-order tickets starting next week. Hmm, looks like we've got time for one more. Yes, you, man with a notepad. Ah, uh, hey. Send your agent, joysandstrips.com. Can you comment on the proposed location of this new development? There has been some negative speculation about where this new theater is going to be built, and none of your representatives have commented yet. Could you please clear up for us exactly where you guys are planning to build this thing? I assure you most of the... Contention to our plans has come from a very small vocal minority with some very radical and dangerous socialist ideologists. Our lo location is currently a rundown blight on the city, and we believe that this theater will help both our local community and economy. In fact, after the papers are signed tomorrow, we will be underway to offer many new employment opportunities right here in Dubstown. Meaning, I will have a job. But enough of the boring business talk, it's time to give you all a small taste of the sort of theater experience Sunny Entertainment is known for. Please, find your way into the theater and enjoy this commentary screening of the latest addiction flick, The Dirty Mackerel Fugitive. Am I supposed to follow or? Okay. Apologies, you're a face I haven't seen before. Which outlet are you here with? Oh, uh, hey. Dominique, uh, Daily News Times. There's no need for formalities here, Dominique. My name's Erin. I handle all the communications for Sunny Entertainment and our p parent company, M Microsoft Corporation. It's my job to make sure that if you need anything at all, we've got it. Did you have any questions? Well, you seem pretty familiar with everyone here. Is that typical for this sort of thing? Well, it's part of the job, to be honest with you. I'm here to act as a facilitator between the press and the company, so I try to build the good working relationships. Helps things run smoothly. With that in mind, I would like to get to know you a little better. Patrick has always been a stick in the mud, but you seem a lot more malleable. What do you say we head into the other theater? We've got an advanced copy of Duckman Returns if you're interested. I hear it's really good. Well, that movie won't be out for months. Then again, I probably shouldn't break away from my group just yet. Do what you like, of course, but Duckman Returns won't be available for a long time. You can see the Dirty Mac or Fuge out of any time you want. So which is it going to be? We will go with him, because that way we can question him, hopefully, and this isn't going to turn into some date. This is actually going to be useful to us. But he said, don't listen to everything Erin says. Uh, uh, I'm just going to pick one randomly. Okay, I think I'm going to pass on Duckman. I still haven't seen the Dirty Macro Fugitive yet, anyway. Right, of course, as you wish. Be sure to come see me after the show though. We've got some gift bags to give away and I'd personally love to hear what you thought of the film. Uh, sure. Talk to you later. The shortest movie of our life. Yeah, I know it's day two. Don't pester me. So, what did you think of the movie? Pretty darn fantastic, if I do say so myself. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a serious contender come award season. It was great. Thanks for showing it. I didn't see it. I can't t honestly tell if it was terrible or not. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Apart from a few test audience, you're one of the first few people in the world to see that flick. Everyone's been really looking forward to it, and early reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. You said we could watch it anytime we want. I bet a lot of folks would be pretty jealous of you right now. Enough about the film, though. You're not writing a review anyway, are you? You're here to find out about our exciting new 20-screen, 3D-capable, surround sound, mega... I'm gonna write this stuff down, because I don't know what I need. And I know there's gonna be some sort of bullshit... Oh, did you remember what you said? 
<laughs> now you gotta be right or else you don't get paid type thing so wants to give you a chance to field any questions now before you wrote your story you know to make sure there's no incorrect assumptions or inconsistencies or you know what I mean I'm here to help you with anything at all good you have any more questions tell me more about your theaters a theaters are the most popular choice for film enthusiasts all across the country. With helpful staff and great selection of movies to watch, there's always something exciting going on at your local Sony, Sony Entertainment Theater. Whatever your taste is, we've got something that is bound to tickle your fancy here at Sony. Did you have any more questions? Movies. Well, we have deals with all the major motions, pictures, producers to ensure that we have all the latest blockbusters and specialty films. Unfortunately, this location isn't very big, so you can't see the breadth of our options, but I assure you that in the, our larger locations, choice is plenty. Whatever your taste is, we've got something that is bound to tickle your fancy here at Sunny. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Concession. Well, concession stand is the most popular in the country, serving millions of hungry movie lovers nationwide. With an array of delicious soft drink snacks and our beloved double butter popcorn, there's a treat in our stand made for you. Whatever your taste is, we've got something that's bound to tick your fancy. Uh, nothing else. Actually, I think I've got all the info I need. That's fantastic. I really want to thank you for taking part of your day to come see what we're all about firsthand. As a token of our appreciation, I'd like to offer you this little gift bag. Feel free to do whatever you like with it. It's yours to take home if you want. Use it to take your boyfriend on a nice day out. It's up to you. Seventy-five dollars in cash. Thank you. Is this a bribe? What? Of course not. As if hats as if that sort of thing would even work on a respectable writer like yourself. How on earth did you get that idea? It's full of money. What? Oops, looks like I gave you the wrong bag. Sorry about that. This is what I meant to give you. Shit. Boy, that is that embarrassing. We can't afford to just go around bribing every journalist we want. Never mind the ethics. <laughs> Would make my job a lot easier, though. Yeah, right. Right, well, I should go. The story's not gonna file itself. Take care. I'm gonna make a hundred dollars anyway, so. Damn it. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have a moment of your time? Sure, what's up? Here, take one of our pamphlets. Good people are about to lose their homes and nobody seems to care. Man hands you a pamphlet. I have to get, go back now, but thanks. Nobody else has stopped to hear me all day. You're welcome. Bye bye, sir. I gotta get back. Wee. I wrote down 20 screen 3D capable surround sound megaplex. It's the only thing I write down. Now we just come in and we use one of these terminals, she said. I'm gonna use the one with the sunset on it because it looks pretty. Guess I better get this interview filed. Start writing. I need a catchy headline. State of the art theater coming to Dubstown Sunny, building new theater. That'll make Erin happy to read. Right, now I need a good intro to sync the reader. Sunny Entertainment, bring the best to Dubstown. Best of their high quality entertainment in Dubstown with a new theater development set to revolutionize movie watching. Yeah, that'll get a lot of people excited about the new theater. It'll certainly grab some attention. Now to flesh it out with a few more details. Sunny's theater is still the cheapest option. Popcorn price concessions remain a luxury. Uh, despite recent price increases on select constructions due to inflation, up. Public relations manager Sonny confirmed that the prices remain the most affordable. That's what he said, after all. Perfect. Now all we need is a conclusion. Sunny Theaters is good for Dubstown, brings jobs to Dubstown. Theater upsets. No, we don't want to do that! Brings jobs. File story. That's 
should be good. Now, what'd she say? She gotta find something to eat? We can go, we can afford something. We now got a place to sleep, which is good. Let's, uh... We just go in here and... I'm just checking. Guess it could crash. Might as well. Gotta get it all done while it's still fresh in my mind. We can't not do the journal, because that's how... I should find myself some food while I can. Don't want to walk around on an empty stomach. Looks like Patrick's paging me. Come to office breaking story. Guess he liked my story. Yes! Yes! He liked my story. Now see what I mean how this day was shorter? So I'm gonna make it video longer and we're gonna put in some more days. I can guess I can see why the first day would be longer than all the others. Because the first day is setting you up. Excuse me. We'll go see what Patrick wants first and then we'll go get some tea. We'll go to the sandwich place. Yes. Great work on that story yesterday. As promised, I've got your pay ready. hundred bucks, just like I said. I hope you don't mind getting paid in cash. It helps keep the man from getting his unfair cut, if you know what I mean. You beat me about something urgent. I know the story. We need someone right away. We received an anonymous tip about a disgruntled worker who was recently fired from a high-rung ad agency. He's a notable luminary in the ad world. An interview with him would make an excellent human interest story. We need you to go talk to him and get the facts. We need total coverage. So you want me to go and spend my day with a disgruntled office worker? I'm interested, but that doesn't sound particularly safe for me. No need to worry about that. The tip did say something about a box of ammo at his desk, but there's no word on a gun. Besides, that's what the dangers pay for. Get this done and I'll pay you double for this. We'll even run it on the front page tomorrow. Twenty d two hundred dollars, eh? You're lucky I need the money. So where does this guy live? He's at the Regal Apartment Complex, 203, just across the street. Yep. Okay, so that is literally across the street, but I'm gonna go grab myself a sandwich first, because I think I need to eat. And I know the sandwich shop is somewhere over here. Oh, you just go to um, Bacon Barn. Here we go. Hey, you there! Yes. Finish to the point, savvy investor. I don't. No. 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 I don't want to invest in a sandwich. I just want to buy a sandwich. How many bacon up your day? Buy a bacon donut, a bacon buster, a bacon bomb. Tiny bacon explosion topped with a bacon glaze with bacon sauce. Getting that then. Uh, and then we can go right. No, no, no! Okay, can I press? Oh, it's exit, right? Right, right, right. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, you need a lot of stamina, girl. We need to go get her a lot of food. Uh, hold on, guys. We gotta go fill her up. That'll be enough. Hopefully. Items. Now we go into food and we go. Yay! How much do we have left? Three. Wow. Okay, we gotta go back to the regional apartments, which is right across the street, so it's right down here. It's down her. 
This is the regional apartment complex. And we gotta go to room 203. So we go up, 203. These have no... Oh, hello there. You must be the reporter from the Daily News. Welcome. Please come in. Yeah, I am. How did you know that? Well, I was the one who left the tip. I have a few things I need to make public. First, though, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. I don't think that's how interviews usually work, but sure. Have you ever worked to the bone only to find nobody appreciated it? Does a legacy of effort mean anything in this world anymore? Of course. Truly great works last forever, even if it's not appreciated in its time. Hmm, interesting. I guess even Picasso was called crazy back in his day. Do you ever feel like people control you? If the best way to keep someone totally complacent is with a kind word and a smile, that, then how can it you ever trust anyone. It's, dang it's dangerous starting to trust people. You never know exactly what everyone else's agendas is. Hmm, I suppose. We're all selfish creatures after all. There's no way to be certain what others are trying to get from you. If someone wrongs you, can you ever truly look at the other way? Can a person learn to accept that sometimes you'll wind up being the prey? If it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, then you can't let yourself be a victim. You need to take charge and show them who's boss by whatever means you can. Hmm, that's a harsh truth. I suppose some people are just victims and others are just predators. It's the way the world works, I guess. Why are p some people so willing to destroy the lives of others just to get ahead, just to get ahead what little they can? What drives someone to sabotage others for success? In my experience, it's the insecure folks who can't prove their own worth, who can't prove their worth on their own, that need to climb on other people's backs to find what they want. Oh, that's interesting. I've never con considered it as a sign of personal weakness before. When you see wrongs in the world, are you compelled to speak up? Why do s some choice choose to stay quiet in the face of awfulness while others don't? The truth here is that only cowards need someone else to defend them. If you've got the guts to stand up for yourself, that's not... Ugh. That makes me sound like an ass. It's not fair to ex expect others to fight for you when you can't be brave enough to solve your problems for yourself. Have you ever made an assumption that you wish you haven't made before? Circumstances are often misunderstood. Some people get hung up on assumptions, but I've been often found that understood. We never see the whole story until the end, right? Ah, huh, I see. As much as your life experience tries to inform us, we can often be misguided by it. We assume out of a necessity now. Well, you've given me a lot to think about. I apologize if this was a bit, a little bit more unconventional. I hope you've got what you needed for your article. I missed one paper. I fucked up. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. There's something I need to get done. Are you sure? I'm here for you if you need anything. Yes, I'll be fine. Thank you for asking. My only hope is that you've got enough to write what you've been assigned to. Yeah, I guess I can make something out of all this. You give me a call if you've got anything you want to add to this dialogue, though. Thank you, Dominique. I truly appreciate your time. Goodbye. Looks like Jack locked the door. He probably just needs some time alone. Don't... Oh, God. My mind instantly went to the worst that could happen. Why? What was the pause of that? Who are you? Hey Dominique! Shit, I haven't seen you in almost a year! How are things going? It's me, Juliet! From, from Larry's party! You and Nina still knocking boots? No, we uh, broke up. Oh, that's too bad. That book or whatever still coming along? You didn't release it yet, did you? Please tell me you have like a million bucks. I could totally borrow some right now. Yeah, uh, I never finished it. What about you? 
What are you doing these days? Uh, I just picked up some bullshit work doing some copyright for a soda machine or something. I was It was really dull work until this office drama started rearing its ugly head. Some people just can't get along, can they? Anyway, I'm sure you've got stuff to do. I won't keep you any longer. It's been really nice catching up. Likewise. That's random. Thanks for reminding me of the fuck off my life is. Mm. Can't help but something bad's gonna happen to Jack. Ugh. Well, I guess I better get this interview filed. Where to start? Hello? Dominique, it's Jack. I want to thank you for stopping by today. You really did give me a lot to think about. I've been on the verge of making a very important decision about my life, and I want to say that you've helped me come to a conclusion. I'm happy knowing someone else out there understands me. Please know that I truly appreciate the new perspective you gave me. I'm going to be leaving Dubstown within the next few days. I want to extend the invitation to you. I know you've been looking to leave as well. You don't need to answer now, but I want you to know that you don't need to go alone. You found a friend in me. I'm really happy to help. Oh, he's the one moving. It's the least I can do considering for what you've done to me. Thank you, Dominique. Well, uh, thanks, Jack. It was nice talking to you. Likewise. You know where to find me. Looks like I've got a ride out of this town. San Rando, here I come. Day three. What a day. It's nice I was able to work and make a new friend. That may be exactly what Jack needs right now. Can I... I need to do the report! Are you serious? Good work on the jack. Alright, okay, I guess I already made it up. 200. There we go. Thanks. Okay. Bye then. I guess it's almost night time. Maybe we should go see that guy up here. Oh, he's gone. So is in his truck, and so isn't him. Fine. Let's see what else is in town now that, like, there's no construction people. Maybe there's someone else we haven't yet to meet. Never know. Employment center. Impossible futures. There's the bus station. Oh god. What's happening here? Whoever's responsible for this, I hope they pay. Game over, man. Game over. They came kicking down my door right as I was about to finish making dinner. What happened? You've got some nerve showing up around here. I heard about your article in the paper. Big lot of help that did us. Boldo should be here any day now. What? I didn't do anything. Rich man have it, poor man need it. What? I didn't do anything. Oh god. I didn't know I did something. I don't- I didn't know I did something! I honestly didn't! Thought I was doing good! Shit! Yeah, sleep. Later that day. Oh, it's the same day. Okay. So it's, now it's night. Beep beep. Message from the witch. Get to the hospital. Durkoff sick. Sounds serious. It's pretty late though. Visiting hours are over. I'll have to check in tomorrow. Naps are refreshing. I probably shouldn't piss away my days like that. Sleep here. Yes. I didn't know it was still daytime. 
I didn't know what else to do anyway, so sorry. Now it's four during the day. Where the hell are you, Dark Off is sick? Guess you could No! At least we just passed the hospital so we know exactly where it is. Let's go, now! Dorgoff is the band guy, isn't he? Oh, shit. Dub sounds general. There's a hospital, I need to see someone. You're not gonna tell me anything? Fine. Useless. Oh, I. What happened? Dominique! I don't know what to do. Darkoff, he's. Oh god, he. What? What the fuck happened? After the show, we saw each other. It was perfect the end. He said he loved me again and that he was sorry he ever left. He said it didn't matter what it cost him, he needed me in his life. For better or for worse, that we couldn't be apart because there was nothing more important than being together. Our bond was the only thing keeping either of us from sinking. I fucking knew this would happen! Why the hell did I listen to you? Let me guess, you two checked into some dive motel and spent the last few days shooting up? What the fuck is wrong with me? I didn't force him to do shit. He had a goddamn choice and he chose me. And this happens, you piece- you daft piece of shit. Yeah, he loves you, but this shit will kill him. Maybe it already has, and he can't keep away from you. Then why can't you just get him better? Because I'm a fucking addict, too. We're opposite sides of a seesaw, and if one doesn't go down, the, then the other can never go up. Today he pays, and tomorrow I'll be, it'll be because I will, because that's the way it goes. There's no balancing this shit. We just take turns feeling sorry for the other. Look, he's got... He, let's put our shit aside. I want to see him. gonna be okay so who's paying for all this I know you don't have any money so I don't know how we can afford to stay here the labels helping out a lot probably because he's worried they'll probably because they're worried the store will get leaky if he's not taken care of however since he can't do the rest of the tour though they've got some closed coin purse it wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart though what are you talking about the doctor guy looking after Durkoff He's like an expert, but he's a greedy motherfucker. All this guy does is like walk into the room twice a day, tap on his clipboard a few times, and we have to pay a fortune for the privilege. I swear, I saw him cuss out an old lady because her, her dead husband's pension could have covered her medicine. He's a total fuckface. Why aren't we sitting on chairs? Why are none of us sitting down? Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work pro boner. Pro bono? Why not? Yeah, why not? The last you can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen at least. Come on. He'll take one look at me and tell me to fuck right off. He makes his he makes his living off of people like me. Maybe you could go though. Give him a hand give him a handy to change his mind. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him. Where would you find him? This guy does the same shit every day. Every morning he gets coffee at the Krusty Kreme. He ducks out early at Every afternoon, you go see a movie at the Sun Megaplex, and after hours, he's probably at the Empire Pub congratulating himself. I wrote it all down for you. Take this. I'll be hanging around here pretty much all the time. Go talk to him and let me know what he says, okay? Well, it's no harm in trying. Okay, so it depends on what time and where he'll be. That's morning, so he should be at the coffee shop. That's not morning anymore. That's afternoon. So we should be at the church, this place, this sunny, right? I don't know. Um, let's see the items. Morning, crusty cream. Afternoon, movies. Late night, Empire Pub. Hello. Dr. Berenstein, you got a second? What? Who are you? Your new best friend, your worst nightmare, it's about a patient. Oh, what do I choose? 
Uh, it's about a, I'm here about a patient of yours. Let me guess, that pathetic wannabe Kobe and wasting a bed someone else could be using, he can't be in without a needle in his arm. Jesus, dude, you need to calm down. You think s such a would-be talent would, with all that money for drugs could pay for his own hospital bills. If you're here to ask me for help, help her for free, no, I won't do it. I already told your big black friend that barely five minutes ago. Do you guys robe in packs? Well, fuck you! Why not? It's it's a life, isn't it? Not all lives are equal. Let that be a rather harsh professional opinion. Yeah, it's an opinion, not a fact, you fuckface. I only have limited time to help people. I don't have time to judge people, and money is a marker of one ability to function and better in society. Wow. Your friend, despite the glamorous dumpster grunge appearance doesn't have any. You're, you elitist bastard. Please, save me the minority card. My wife's darker than you. Now, if you don't mind, I've got another two hours before my next patient meeting. Beside all that, I didn't come to the old working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. I better go speak with Viper at the hospital. I should have been f full forward. Should have said your worst nightmare. I haven't saved in forever, and I don't know when the autosave was, or else I would have done it, or else I would have gone back. Nah, what happens, happens. I have a feeling this is going to be a long game anyway, so. Viper, I fucked up! So I met the doc, real piece of work. He's a total asshole and won't budge on the bill. We gotta go smash up his car, break his headlight, and send a message. What? A guy like that's gotta have some pretty fancy cars. We go to his place, break into the garage, and smash the fuck out of his windshield. Well, he did mention something about the old Hawkstar Mansion just outside town. A guy with that kind of money is bound to have a nice ride. If I remember correctly, though, does, does, don't mansions have heavy security? What the hell are you thinking? Well, maybe we can find something to blackmail him up there. I bet he's into some really weird porn. Ethics aside, that might actually work. Then it's settled. Whenever you're ready to go, just let me know and I'll drive us out there. Let's do it. Let's do it quick, though. I don't know how much time he's got. You ready to go now? Let's do it! Now or never. Okay, let's roll. I'm gonna get arrested for this isn't, aren't I? Why the hell are you wearing that again? It's so people can't tell who I am. Whatever. Look, this car's right- his car's right over here. Let's go smash it up. We could take a look around for a computer or something first. Just be careful though. I'm sure this place is loaded with security cameras. Wait here, I'll go pick the front door lock. There's one security camera. Come on, let's do this for my baby. So I'm guessing we get to choose whether we go in or smash the car. We're gonna go in. We've got to be careful for security cameras, though. Click trash bin, emails, photos. So that's just dogs. Emails. Open, are you avoiding me? Order conformed, are you avoiding me? Doc, you've got to help me. I've got this rash down in the crawl space between the top. Oh, okay. Order confirmed. Dog food. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Password reset. Edit my face account. In a committed relationship with, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Click photos. Grizzly Jones. That's creepy. Grizz and me. Enter password. Shit! I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Turn to desktop. We gotta go into emails. We gotta look. Password reset. To Grisma. Your request to set password has been declined. 
Well, that must be his password to everything else then. So, and it's in a different color, so. Turn to email, turn to desktop, click photos, enter password. Uh, M -O -D. I have no idea what we're gonna find, okay? Fair warning. Oh my god! Please stop! Let's go talk to her. Maybe she, she, she. What are we gonna do? Hey, you. Okay, we gotta go to the printer. Toner, lousy piece of shit. All right, where does he keep the supplies? Someone spilled some shampoo or something. That's probably not shampoo. Why can't you just send yourself the picture and then just go home and print it out? Yeah. Hmm, what do we have in here? I don't want to know. An indie hero's figure. You found number 14. Yay. What else? A bunch of used Kleenex. There we go. Let's go. Let's go put it in the thing. Nothing better happen as we're printing this. No, we're leaving. We're not gonna look around. We're leaving. I don't want anything to do with that fucking bear up there. I see it. I'm leaving. Viper, we gotta leave. Now. Viper, now. Viper! the hell out of here before we both get caught. Thank you. That's fucking gross about that teddy bear shit. Yeah! I'll never look at the children's ward the same way again. Stop. Well, you hold on to the photo for now. It's safer in your hands. I'll beep you when we're ready to go confront him. Gotcha. Let's not wait too long, though. Darkoff's getting worse. Sorry for giving you so much shit. You're a really good friend. Yeah, same. I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay? We all saw it. And we're gonna leave it at that. Message from the witch. Ready to talk to dog. Get to the hospital soon. Let's go. We'll confront him and then we'll end the episode. Hopefully. Things don't start happening. Hello, Viper. I've trapped the doc in the elevator. Head on in so we can get him to change his mind. You're terrible. <laughs> oh, hey, doc. Fancy running into you here. This elevator's going up or down? It's ground floor, Dominic. Of course we're going up. Right, of course. I can barely keep my head on straight these days. What the hell do you two want? Well, remember how we were having trouble with our payment bill? We're here to bear our hearts to you one more time. 
<laughs> Maybe there's something you can do to help us get out of this uncomfortable financial bondage. We're gonna help, you're gonna help us f for free and wipe out any existing bills of your services. Ha, like hell I am. In fact, as soon as I get back to my office, I'm calling security and telling them to keep you both out of the building altogether. I don't think that's a particularly good idea, Doc. Show them. With pleasure. DON'T SHOW THE PICTURE AGAIN! How did you get that? Don't worry about that right now. All you need to know is that if you don't help us out, things aren't going to end very nicely for you. I'm sure a lot of folks would get a real kick out of this. Are you sure you don't want it up on the facility website? Alright, fine. You win. I'll make sure you aren't billed for anything here. And his heart grew two sizes that day. It was a pleasure talking to you, Doctor. Wait, before you leave, there's one thing you need to understand. This procedure is still very experimental, and I can't guarantee it's going to work. All this aside, life is still on the line. What are you saying? I'm saying that even if things go smoothly with the procedure, death is still a real possibility. And that's outside this whole blackmail thing. Look, we're desperate. You can see that, can't you? Just don't let anything bad happen. I'm begging you. I'll do what I can, I promise that. It's just cases like this rarely end well. Prepare yourself for that. Well, this is my stop. Don't fuck this up, Doc. <laughs> okay. What time is it now? We're gonna go back to our apartment. Which we haven't seen the owners of, but I don't care because it's not outside at least. Okay. There's no words for what happened in this episode. I can't sit. I I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm dropping it. Anyway, all in all, it was. It's still a good. It's still a good game. I'm still enjoying myself thoroughly. So <laughs> I hope you guys all are enjoying this as much as I am. And thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. There'll be a link in the description below for you guys to check out my Patreon. It helps support my channel and my artwork. And my artwork also helps support this channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.